So <clears throat> in this <coughs> uh, requirements gathering session uh, that we'll be uh, facilitating um, as BAs, um, we usually would open up uh, with the introduction of who we are, our role, and we'll uh, go into like why we're here and sort of set the expectation. Okay, so uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to simulate as if though I am the business owner. And then um, uh, with this information, uh, I'll kind of explain uh, like the high level, the BAs are gonna ask me on the high level uh, to talk about you know the uh, what I do or what the application is about and so I'll just go through that information and then uh, I'll let one of the BAs that we have here actually uh, start the uh, session off with similar questions uh, that they'll have you know for um, uh, for me in order to gather those requirements properly okay so with that being said let's uh i'm gonna have hajira hajira yeah. um how, can you open up and you know go through the steps as we explain with the like explain who you are uh why you're here today and then what's the purpose of this interview um what, what's the outcome or the uh the purpose of this interview so are you talk, are, are you are you talking about reading off the email or um well that? i want you to i want you to open up uh, like you're the facilitator and then i want you to introduce everyone as uh okay. your colleague and okay. then once you introduce everyone as your colleague and then um ask the uh, question of about the uh, high level overview uh from this project uh from me i am the customer Okay, and then I'll explain um, uh, more about the app. Okay, all right. Um, my name is Hadra, and this is Beata, and this is Jessica. We're all business analysts, and the reason for this interview today is to better understand the application that we're trying to create for the purpose of bringing together articles about small businesses mm -hmm. for the people in our area. Um, some of the I'm not going to the question, right? Okay, so we're trying to understand um, different aspects of the um, application creation process. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, um, and so um, I'd like to talk to you about uh, my application. <clears throat> so essentially what I'm trying to build, um, um, and I, I have a you know, a, a somewhat, you know, a small design of what uh, we have already that's currently working for us. Uh, so we have a business news application for small businesses. And so uh, with this, uh, the small businesses are like, uh, I'm saying anything less than 500 employees, basically. So with uh, having the same functions as, um, are you familiar with Flipboard? Yes, I, I am. Are we all familiar? Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. Um, and then, so uh, what, uh, what I would like to see is all the articles uh, that are uh, being posted are geared towards the small businesses in specific. And then uh, the, I want the ability for entries to be, the blog entries that can be included since uh, the larger publications may have a few articles on the subject. And so sort of like in the background, I want um, if a person writes an ad, I mean, uh, writes in uh, a blog article, I want some of those topics to somewhat be uh, auto generated um, at once. Uh, like, how would they say I identified when something's new added, then news about that topic is also added if a person is uh, entering this application. So currently, uh, we only uh, we manually like submit these articles right now, and we're just trying to get to a point where we're uh, trying to 
uh, get to our future future state. So that's just in a nutshell. Okay. And you have other people in this room uh, uh, with you? Yes, I do. There's Beata and there's Jessica. We're all business analysts and we're all here together to analyze the application that we're that you're planning on that you wish to create and we just have some questions that we that we'd like to address to better understand the specifics of the application okay all right yeah. we'll go right ahead shoot away all right um one of the questions that i have about the application is so i know that you said that you want some articles to be um to be pulled up mm -hmm. for small businesses so what's the criteria for the articles that are included in this application for example let's say we have a small business and we're trying to look up articles related to that business mm -hmm. um how would you how would the application know which articles to pull up depending on how scholarly they are or you know like who wrote them or how informative they are is there is there a criteria for that or it just pulls up any articles that are related to that business well i once well, well currently uh what we try to uh do in the business is i have some of the the editors or authors who are uh, or the publishers i should say uh publish this information uh okay. with the uh to small businesses like i said but we're touching on finances uh, how to set up a business, how to manage a business, um, and also how to, uh, you know, drive for improvements, you know, and how to uh, develop a better marketing plan for the most part. So those are the type of categories that we like to, you know, uh, stay with. Okay. Sorry. Whenever you say, like, um, editors, like, who do you, how do you determine, like, who's the one that's going to be um, doing the articles in the web, in the app? How do I determine who's going to be doing what? All right. The articles, like, how mm -hmm. do you, so, like, like, depending on the background of the person. Yeah, like, do you, like, how do you determine accuracy? Um, how are we going to determine um, who blogs? Okay. All right. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, the article. So, as if I'm understanding this correctly, this is, um, and let me just uh, add. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, so what we do in our organization, uh, uh, we'll have with each one of the categories the uh, editor and a publisher, uh, okay. and so we'll match an editor and a publisher. So, right now we have. Uh, a total of eight people, you know. So they're only submitting information specifically for that category uh, in any of the news uh, that they can find in this oh, okay. uh, current state. Yeah. So that's Thank how we're operating. So we have about eight people. Okay, I have a question for um, this app. Like, m my main question is like what is the name of the app and like is there a specific, a specific logo or a specific color that we're going to do for this app well uh so those two two questions so you said what's the name uh our the name is zbiz zbiz <laughs> like uh the s and then uh b-i-z zbiz <laughs> i guess the s sort of sounds silent but <laughs> And what was <laughs> so your other question? What was that? Like the logo? Is there like okay. logo? Like the you know, Flipboard has like that F. Like, do we are we gonna have a specific logo and specific color? Um, well, I already have a logo from uh, a graphic artists that we have on staff. So the colors that we're using is like orange, uh, gray, and uh, white. And um, for like, all right, okay, go ahead. There's another so question. I gonna, I gonna say. And I know, like, um, you you were asked you were asking for it to be like linked to LinkedIn. 
did you did you want it to be like linked to us an established like facebook account or a linkedin account or just like set it up with like a regular email account uh well um elaborate on that i'm trying to understand like whenever um they're gonna open up and uh, download the app and open up an account with us for this app mm -hmm. is it like did so you're talking, about, you're talking about the customer no, the app. When we download the app, uh -huh. and the user is gonna um, start download the app and start it. Did you want to connect it to like Facebook or LinkedIn? Okay, so what you, you're asking me if I'm going to be using some social media? Yes, or did yeah. or did you want it just like through an email? Well, oh, you're talking about the. I, I believe she's talking about this account process. Yeah, the account process. So like, so like when you're making a Facebook account, what they ask you for is an email. So you put your email in there. So is this going to be a thing where like they ask you for your email and you set up a password or you can just log in through your Facebook account? I believe that's what the question is. Okay. Uh, like, uh, so currently um, we have it where people could, when they uh, register with us, uh, they will have the ability to uh, set the account up, uh, have their password, general information, uh, and um, it asks the question, what uh, social media do they use? And they, they could just click on the icon, uh, but we don't have the ability to, for them to connect at this current state, but we like to have that in the current state. I mean, in the future state. Okay. Well, what is the time frame for the application and what is your budget? Okay, um, the time frame, I know that uh, this is, you know, going to take some time. So uh, we're projecting maybe um, a year uh, for a year and a half uh, at max. But uh, we're trying to do this within the year. And the budget uh, that we have currently, um, we have been funded uh, by an external investor. So we have, uh, for this project, we've allocated approximately uh, 800,000, uh, 850,000 for this project. But this is, is going to be in phases. We want to have this developed in phases where we're actually um, uh, creating each one of these components and then, you know, demoing it. You know, so uh, we want to take our time. We're not in a rush and we want to be different from the other websites, you know, so that's to answer your question you know so about eight hundred and fifty thousand and um about a year uh, as far as the timeline so i like that you mentioned that you want it to be different from other applications that are currently in existence uh -huh. and i know that earlier on in your um in your briefing you told us that um there's another application that goes by the name flipboard and it's very similar in what it has to offer mm -hmm. to the application that we're, we're working on right now or we're considering working on so what exactly is um unique and different about this application that sets it apart from flipboard because as as we all probably know flipboard is a very popular application amongst a lot of people especially the american population so what what is going to be special about this application that will attract customers towards it especially customers that are already aware that there are applications out there like it? Well, um, for me, um, I just, what's going to be different about this is that it's going to be uh, designed for small businesses only. Uh, and so for the categories that we're going to be covering, uh, I want uh, the ability to uh, connect to the different social media platforms as well as um, you know, import information from other sources and uh, from other um, approved sources like from different media websites that we may partner up with. So. Okay, so there is a possibility of including other uh, people onto the um, publishing and editing team uh, than the ones that we have all that we have already in place. But uh, to be honest, I'm trying to automate all that. So if I have to like do a staff reduction, 
you know, mm-hmm. and don't say this to them if when you're meeting up with them, but uh, I'm trying to do a staff reduction and okay. uh, I want to automate some of these things where we have half of this information being published by us and then the other half by the other sources that are, you know, um, uh, approved sources for us to uh, get this information for small businesses. Okay. Mm-hmm. And whenever you talk about on um, like, about um news for like small businesses is it like small businesses like around us or in our community or are we talking about small businesses in like the whole country like how well yeah i want to give the user um the ability to uh find some you know uh, news or information locally so and And I, i want the application to be able to detect their location as well as pulling information that may be helpful for them and then have the ability to go global with it like uh where they can find information from other states that may be helpful that they may not you know because locally we may be privy to certain type of information based on the laws uh and then but we may be able to find out uh i want the user to be able to find out information that's you know um that's not available to them. I want them to have that ability to have, uh, uh, or I should say the flexibility to go local or to go global. So you just want to like have that um, pop up where it says, um, do you allow this website to access their location? Or would you like a somewhere where you can um, type in your zip code? I want, actually, I want both because let's say if they don't allow right and i want to do it for somewhere but i'm i'm not living in la yet but i'm in new york um but i want to find out like what are some you know pieces of information that i could find about my business in la i want that flexibility okay also you mentioned that the um the there's not going to be a service charge for the users that download this app um and and in order to make up for that, there will be ads that will pop up during the use of the application. Is there any way, because I know there's a lot of applications out there that do the same thing, but they have this option where users can pay like a dollar a month or something around that to disable all ads that pop up. So will that be an option that will be given to the users or no? Well, um, for, I want that, I want the, like when it, so first of all, let me just say this, the ads, I, I want the ability to make money off of the ads. And that's very important because like, how else are we uh, gonna get paid, right? Um, so, but I want that um, to be available like uh, on uh, different devices. But when it comes to like, if you're on the laptop, I don't want the ads to be so frequent, you know? Cause I wanna promote like okay yeah i want to promote technology and drive people uh towards um you know uh reading more but what would distract them you know and i don't want to distract them having too many ads but i want to have the ability to say okay i don't want annoying ads that take over your whole phone screen right Mm -hmm. i just want them just to be there like as a like maybe a little banner above the information and it will uh, stay there as you scroll type of deal. So it will be static and everything else will be dynamic, right? So I do want the ability to have ads. So if we have a client that uh, would like to publish a, an ad uh, with us, uh, they'll pay for the space and the amount of time. And I I'll, I'll want our contracting department to kind of deal with like the contract work uh, and the and I, and I know I'm rambling, but um, so on the ad piece, I don't want it be, to be as frequent in the front, like if you're on a computer. But all other devices, if you're on an iPad, if you're on an iPhone, uh, uh, Android, I want the ads to pop up uh, or to be on that page or the information that they're seeking. And whenever um, we talk about ads, are we just talking about? do you like video ads or just um 
because there's you know there's video ads and then there's just like a pop-up ad meaning that you can like exit or I, w I want them to be able to um have the choice to uh, do like if they uh see the ads uh there's there's something that they're interested in uh for uh, like the web page external web page to pop up uh otherwise if there's video on it and they want to hear the sound um i w don't want them to hear the sound like uh at all i just by default i want them to be able to uh actually uh click on the like a sound button to kind of hear if they're interested in learning more about that because I, I want to give my customer who will be the person that will be get, paying for this ad uh to uh, have that ability as well will you allow your users to specifically select um like categories for their small businesses like like let's say like landscaping or carpentry like will you have those like hashtags so they can look up those specific articles yes uh, i want the i want the ability um for my uh users to, like say for instance they only want this information and and um let me know if i'm answer, answering your question correctly uh i want them to be able to say i want only this type of information and for it to come back to me uh so your question if you ask it again i mean maybe i can get you uh, some different information ask me once once more i want to make do sure do you want it. like there to be a like tabs on the side where they can choose categories or do you just want them to be able to search like hashtags for their category okay all right so i want the ability for both because right now hashtags is the thing so mm -hmm. i want that hashtag function to be able to pull up uh, for certain titles because no one wants to go through the search and go through this. What if, if all these articles, these hashtags are auto generated based on, uh, the content in that information. I want like 20, Hey, uh, Ms. Lady, uh, somebody has a question. Uh, somebody has, a, um, no, there was a question uh, cause I, I clicked the live feed. Uh, somebody said, uh, shall the user be able to uh, personalize their feed? Oh, and you guys answer, asked the same question already. I already answered that. Um, so we'll go back to your question. Um, so I want the hashtag function. And I think that will be easier than uh, typing in a search. All right. Will you give users the option to create their own library? So, like, for example, YouTube has this option where if you want to watch a video, you find the title interesting, but you don't have the time to watch it, you will add it to your watch later list, and it'll kind of, like, create a library for you where you have all the videos that you want to watch in the future or that you just want to save. So are you going to give users the option to either save the articles that they want to read later or to add them to their watch later list? Well, um, what I will, hey, um, so we just renamed that. And what we did um, in this company, we uh, essentially just called it a briefcase. So instead of saying library, we say, okay, uh, click this to put in your briefcase. So uh, since this is for, uh, for small businesses, we kind of like that idea of having, you know, that business, you know, lingo in there. Okay. So, so yes, then, we'll be having the same function. I know. Um, you said it must. You must be able to share it to like LinkedIn, like um, articles that you like. How did you? How did you want that to like? To be like, is there like a button that you can just push and it just automatically like shares it to your LinkedIn account? Right. Uh, well, if uh, so, like, say if. Um, so that same ability for Instagram, well, not Instagram, but um, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Reddit, uh, Flipbook, or uh, I don't know how the intricacies of Flipbook, but I don't know what I want. I want the ability, to, so if they wanted to repost it on a, uh, one of their sites uh, or their profiles, uh, to have that ability uh, created. 
how did but I mean like how did you want that to be to like to happen like through like a just a specific button you're gonna have in the article yes. yeah I want it like say if there's a picture on the article or uh, matter of fact so uh, remember how I explained the ad that if you scroll down uh, in the content um, the ad will stay there uh, while you scroll I want that same ability uh, when um, uh, for sharing with social media okay like to always be static will the users be able to share internally like dm internally like if i would like to share an article with like let's say hadra hadra has an account i can mm -hmm. just send her the article that i'm looking at yeah. or will i have to do it externally um no um you'll be able to share it like with whatever uh social media uh, you can share whatever, whatever social media, and I want uh, the ability to share via email, or if you have an account with us already, you can share it with your friends. Okay. You know, so and then also, um, I didn't say this in the beginning. I want the ability to have my users um, to uh, like have groups where they can share information. Like this is what I found. You know. Mm -hmm and to have that ability to uh, uh, share in groups so it could be somewhat itself a social media type of new site for small businesses. And somebody has a question on this live feed here. Um, they say, what incentives will the user have to use this service uh, and drive advertisers to pay for space? What incentives? Because, all right, and I'm going to ask, uh, this is a very good question. So, and this is elaborating on the question that uh, you all asked. So the incentive for the end user or the customer uh, would uh, to use this service uh, would be they're having uh, the information that wouldn't be readily available to them as far as um, different categories for small businesses, how it's set up, the finance, how to uh, create a better a business plan, a marketing plan, how to get yourself out there, you know, and uh, without having, uh, uh, without having, you know, the, uh, the annoying uh, part to it, you know, so like having uh, too much of, like, say you have the information, for instance, uh, for some small business topic. Uh, and it will give you a preview or you can see the long view. So I want people to be able to, if this is like Instagram, to just scroll, scroll, scroll. And if they're really interested, they can just go into it and they have that ability. So they can either uh, be like the fast food restaurant <laughs> or they can go in for dining and click the button to find out more information. And that's just, uh, and as far as for the advertisers, uh, what incentives did the advertisers have uh, for the business, uh, I mean, uh, for our business, the incentive for the advertisers will be that what are our demographics? Our demographics are uh, we are uh, catering to uh, business owners from 25 to 55, right? So uh, for the age group from 25 to maybe uh, 40, um, and we notice certain trends on that and uh, they'll be able to um, push certain ads that uh, will cater to them, you know, um, specifically. That's just to answer your question. Any other questions? And we have uh, we have uh, five minutes, by the way. So if let's say uh, we create the app and somebody, there's a user that wants to create an account. What information will be required for the creation of the account? So if you are trying to make like an Instagram account, they ask for your date of birth, your email address, and that kind of information. So what will we be requiring from the users? So the, what I require from the users, just basic information, uh, first, last name, uh, city and state, and then uh, the date of birth. And then okay. what type of, and then also what type of business uh, uh, you are in, or if you're not, I want the ability for them to be to click in a if what if they're just doing research, you know. 
do you have like special requirements for like passwords like they have to have numbers and capital and like a mixture of characters um so uh, i would like them to uh, use a total of uh seven to 13 characters seven to 13 and i want alphanumeric and uh special characters okay. would you would you give them the ability to like save it on the platform they're using um to save it on the platform that, that they're using um well i want the ability for the phone to do that for them not for it to be saved like on our website per se like either like the username or or the password yes both okay yeah i want to uh push that out to the user's phone or their computer and the device and then security questions are we at i would we be um you uh, like uh, requiring any security questions um just the name of the street probably about three of them i just need three I don't know right now, but I want the ability to have that security as well. So um, knowing that this is, uh, um, we only have a few minutes, um, I want someone to try to uh, summarize uh, what you learned and then okay. I'll talk about the expectations on this closure and what we can, uh, what you'll do with this information. Okay. Go ahead. I want should you I, should I go? give it. Yeah, go go at it. <laughs> OK, so what I learned from today's interview or just this meeting is that this application is intended for an audience that is interested in learning more about small businesses in their area mm -hmm. along with other areas. So it's not just restricted to the location that the user is at. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're you have the ability to put in a zip code for another location and the app will pull up the small businesses in that area. Mm -hmm. Along with this, I learned that we want the app to be connected to social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. um, for various purposes. Um, uh, one of the purpose could be, for example, sharing the articles with friends or family that you uh, that you know sit in those articles and you, you can share these articles with them um, outside of the app and also within the app if they have an account with, with us. You're able to direct message them, and then we also have a briefcase feature, which basically serves as a storage closet, kind of, or literally a briefcase where you can keep the articles that you like, or you can save them for later, or you can put articles in there if you don't have the time to read them right now and you want to read them later. So just right. to provide you with a list of everything that you are interested in. Along mm -hmm. with this, we want to uh, we want to make money um, through ads. So the, the ads that we would like to appear on the screen, we don't want them to cover the entire screen or serve as a distraction for the users while they're trying to read these articles. Right. We, want the, uh, we want the app to automatically um, be set to mute when the ads pop up because we don't want any like noise when they're reading the articles because the whole point is to get them to read the articles and not to be distracted while reading them. What else? We want to eventually go global. That is our goal. But for now, we are going to stick to our area, from what I understood. Yeah, well, yeah. I want to get to that point. I want to go global. I want to scale up. But I, I do want to stay local for now and then scale okay. up. So yes, that is correct. And from my understanding, we already have a logo um, set for it. And the colors that we're using include orange and gray. And there was another color, which I do not White. remember right now. White. Yeah. White. It will yeah. be in my notes, though. <laughs> uh, what yeah. else? Um, um, and for yeah. the, Does I'm someone sorry. else got something? Somebody else? No, um, about um, the characters that he wants and just the regular just first name, last name, letter birth, and the three security questions. For setting up the account Wait, for the account the, setup, yeah. the users will be able to make accounts and share with internally and externally. Mm -hmm. um, there will be tabs on the side to defining categories, but you can also search by hashtag uh, depending on your small business. Mm -hmm. and then you want the article scholarly. Uh, you also want about the linking. You want to 
be able to pop up just like the ad mm -hmm. in, in order to be able to share through like social media. Yep, that's correct. So can um, Beata, can you close this out and talk to me as, so I'm the customer, uh, tell me what the expectation is and then like what takes place after this and if there's gonna be another meeting. <laughs> I think the expectation would be uh, just creating a plan to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, since we do have a deadline that you stated, I think for the criteria that we have, we would like to revisit and create another meeting once we do have uh, some sort of layout out so you can see what you like and what you don't like. Mm -hmm. um, like prioritizing. So you're going to take these, uh, you're going to write requirements for this? Yeah, I would definitely write requirements. And I would also create some sort of very, very base um, mock. Mm -hmm. Just an example of like the app, like so far what we've, what we've gathered mm -hmm. so that you can nitpick it and then we can go back. Yeah. And we will use Azure for that purpose. <laughs> Yes, I like to see I'm a prototype. Sorry, I have to throw that in yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So she said she's going to use uh, Azure. Uh, somebody else stated um, they're going to write user stories. So if we were using the Agile method, uh, framework, uh, and they're going to create wireframes, and that's using Azure uh, to create the prototype. So uh, for the wireframe. So hey, good. That was a good job, Ron. Uh, so good job, girls. Uh, or I shouldn't say girls, but. Uh, um, uh, good job, <laughs> students. <laughs> Please don't uh, take it disrespectfully. Um, so I really love uh, what we're doing and great job on asking the questions. Uh, and so from this point, everyone, we're just going to um, document the requirements. I'm going to send out the uh, document, like the standard um, template that's used, and then um, we'll start to discuss uh, in, in our next session. Uh, what will take place after uh, this first session, the initial interview, using the interview technique. Okay. So thank you, everyone, and you have a, a good night. Any other questions for me? Nope. No. Nope. Anyone online has a question? Thanks, Tony and the BAs. They called y'all the BAs. <laughs> uh, trying to get ready for my next uh, contract. Yeah, man. Great job. Great job. So uh, you'll see us again when we post and have another uh, session. All right. Have a good day. Good night, everyone. Good night. Right. Good night. Yeah, everyone. So that was a great se uh, you know, session, right? So what uh, we are doing um, to be different.